image to video has come a long way since it was first launched with tools like Kyber, Genmo and Stable Diffusion. While Stable Diffusion is a bit difficult to use, Kyber was one of the easiest tools to use and one of the best tools to use which had features like video to video, image to video and some more features which I explained in my previous video and the link to that video is in the description. Right now Kyber is down for some reason because it has a lot of traffic so in order to use that you need to upgrade to a paid subscription. The second best tool you can use right now is called Genmo and in this video I'm going to go through everything you can do using Genmo, what all features it has and what we can generate. Let's get into the video. In order to start using this tool, type in Genmo in Google and then click on the first link. Once you are in the software, you need to create a free account. You can either join Discord or just click on get started and create a free account by signing up. I am going to click on get started as I already have an account. Now there are two options to create image to video. One is to upload your own image and the second is to create an image within Genmo. So in order to start uploading images, just click on upload and select any image from your current images. You can also generate a special image in order to upload it, whatever idea you have. For that you can go to leonardo.ai, check out all my leonardo.ai videos in the description. So this is an image that I'm going to use. So I'm going to double click and then wait for it to upload. Once it is uploaded, these are all the options that you have in order to edit the image to create a video. So paint the car a different color. You can select this already given option. Add a family of ninjas in the scene. So we can go with paint the car a different color and then you can also add more edits in order to describe some more of your scene. So I'm going to type something like convert the scene into a futuristic city. So as you can see I've written make the car and buildings futuristic. So before you click on generate there are some more options that you can select from. So you can decide the length of the video and you have these many credits for a single account. I've already used some credits. I think you get something like 300 credits. So it's pretty good. And then you can select exploration, dynamics. You can play around with all these settings. But for now, I'm going to keep all the settings as they are. And now I'm going to click on make video. It's going to take anywhere from 1 to 5 minutes. So let's wait. This is the video that was generated. Considering that we didn't put a lot of detail in the prompt, it is a pretty decent video. So if you click on this option right here, this is the page that will open up. You can see your previous generations from right here as you can see. These are all my previous generations that I played around with. Now in order to open up your generation, just click on it and then you can also share or download the video. Let's go back to the home page and try creating something a bit better. So just click on upload again and now I'm going to upload an image that I demonstrated in a previous video. I'm going to select this image right here. And now let's see what we can add in order to create a creative video. Add a parallel street on the right. So let's add something else instead of this. Let's go with what is already given. Add a river or a canal. So just click on it. And let's see what it comes up with now. As you can see. This is the generation and I'm personally really very happy with the generation. It looks like it took a lot of effort or some prompting skills to create this. But we just selected one line and this is what we got. Now you also have an option of remixing this video. So if you click on remix this video, you'll come back to the home page where you can type in everything. So now we are going to add something like add a river or canal 
and then with it we can also add submerge everything in water and then we are also going to add something like R in outer space and now we are going to increase the length of the video and let's see what kind of a generation do we get exploration can also be increased a bit smoothness is already 100 dynamics also controls how fast content changes over time so let's change the dynamics a bit and yes let's go and click on make video as you can see this is the final video and if you see the video clearly from the beginning it does not follow all the instructions in fact it does not follow the second and the third instruction I think it got confused in all the details that I put in so if we click on remix this video again this time I'm going to put the submerge everything in water I'm going to delete this one and then let's bring car in outer space on the first section so let's bring this one right here and then car in outer space right here should be deleted let's add futuristic outer space city in the second section and now let's click on make video just look at this generation I'm really very happy with this generation it almost followed what we wrote in the prompt and it has come up to be really nice so now if you look at this video there was not much that was written in the video and in the prompt it is just your idea and your imagination of how you want to place things in order you also have the option of going to the community tab and exploring some of the other generations that other creators have generated so these are all the generations and if you put enough time and creativity into it you can generate pretty much any good looking video from an image I would recommend generating an image in any other image generator other than Genmo because the images generated in Genmo are not that good so generate your images in something like midjourney or leonardo.ai and then you can upload them in Genmo and create some amazing looking videos now this is the next image that I've selected and let's see what all options do we have so add a lonely sky add levels let the ink darkness take over so let's see what does this do by if we click like add levels let's let it generate instead of the previous prompt I changed the prompt to a dried up haunted forest and this is what the generation looked like the previous the initial image was that one and then it converted the whole image sequence video into a haunted forest so this was it for the video if you like the video then subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video